guys, how it's going? Welcome back to the channel and you're watching iPhoneTopics.com. Today in this tutorial, I'm going to share you a few secret tips to get rid of this max storage error and also watch this video till the end to know the cool software I'm going to show you guys. So without any further talk, let's dive into the cleaning process. Cleaning process number one, manage storage on your Mac. It is an option available on Mac and also it is a simple process. Let me show you how to do it. First, tap on Apple logo, then select about this Mac and then choose storage option and select manage. This will take you to the page that I was talking about. Here you could see four options. One is store in iCloud, which helps you to move all your files and data to the iCloud drive but you have to buy storage if needed. Next is optimize storage. When you click on optimize storage, this will straight away erase all the watched iTunes movies, TV programs, etc. Next, when you turn on empty trash automatically, it will delete all the trash which is older than 30 days. Finally, you have an option that is reduce clutter. This will help you to find and list all the files that are no longer in use. So you can delete it easily. If you still don't have enough space, then try to follow other methods that I'm showing in this tutorial. Cleaning process number two, delete system and browsing catches. Every time when we browse something or create things, scratches will be added to the system or the browser. So deleting it will help you to free some space on your Mac. So let me show you how to do it. First, let me show you how to delete the system catches. For that launch finder, then tap on go and press and hold the option key and select library. Then open catches folder and uh, select and folder. So you could see the catches here. Select all, then move this file to the trash. So repeat this process to each and every folder on the catches area. But remember not to delete the folder itself. You just want to delete the file. Next is delete catches on browser i'm going to use chrome for that launch chrome then press and hold the command and y key so that it will open the histories area so now tap on clear browsing data now you could see these options being selected then uh, you can choose according to your needs so i'm just uh, tapping on all time then i'm going to select clear data so this will clear the history catches cookies in the browser this is the same process for safari as well so that's it cleaning process number three remove ios backup i basically use itunes to backup my ios device so if you are doing that same thing then follow this method to clear the backup from your itunes or mac so to do that launch a finder on your mac then tap on go then select go to folder then type in the command and tap on go so this will take you to the backup of your ios device just uh, check the backups and uh, delete the unwanted backup on your backup folder for deleting just drag and drop the files in the trash and it will delete the backups on your mac Next, cleaning process number four, remove iTunes backup. If you are having any iTunes backup, let us delete it also. So it will free up some space on the Mac. So to do that, launch finder, tap on go, then select go to folder, type in this command and tap on go. So this will take you to the iTunes library. Check the older version of the backup and delete it by moving the file to the trash. Cleaning process number five, empty trash. After deleting all the files, we are going to empty trash finally. So to do that, launch trash, then select empty and tap on empty trash. So this will remove all the files that have been stored in the trash. So I'm sure these methods will help you to clean your Mac and the empty storage on your Mac. As I told before, I'm having a software to clean your Mac automatically. That is clean my Mac. So this software will help you to delete and clean the files in the Mac and also will manage storage on your Mac. It has a paid version and also a free version. You can use a trial pack of it then after using the trial you can go to the paid version next you have an app called duplicate file finder remover this app will help you to find the duplicate files on your mac and it will list the files you can uh, view the 
files and delete it immediately so just launch app store then uh, search for duplicate file finder and you could see this app so you have a paid version and also a free version so you can select according to your needs i hope this tutorial was a useful one if you have any doubts or comment leave that in the comment section below and if you like this video consider subscribing to iphone topics.com thank you